I don't know if you can hear this, um, because it's really loud here because the coyote's right in there in that woods. The coyote followed us down this trail. It was like right there. So it was like following us at a distance. And uh, the dogs are leashed now, as you can see. They took off after it again, and it ran into that patch of woods there and started howling immediately. So um, I'm going to go because it's probably calling for backup. And if the coyote has backup, then the odds of, of this going turning out well for us changes. So we're going to leave the woods now. Um, it's about 8.30 at night. We're out of here. But the coyote is calling for reinforcements. It did follow us down the trail after being chased by the dogs. And the dogs came back and it followed us. And then it ran away again. But it didn't go very far. It literally didn't go that far. And it's calling for help. That's so crazy. I thought, <laughs> geez. Okay. Um, you know, coyotes are very protective of their territory and their pups as they should be. So, you know. These two are a pack. Coyote probably has family also. Uh, it's just like, I don't want to be in the middle of a little canine turf war. So we're leaving the woods. Um, I'm taking my dogs. They're on a leash so they don't run off and fight coyotes. And we're out of here. It's, it's like still howling. It's still like, it stayed really... I hear other howling, like answering it. I don't know if that's a coyote or a dog though. That's so scary, and, but also really fun and cool. I'm actually really happy this happened. Solely because no one was hurt. The coyote wasn't hurt. My dogs weren't hurt. I wasn't hurt. So it's actually a really cool story. Okay, bye.